I'd found some great bargains and had a good day. And the best thing is knowing that every pound gets us closer to our appeal target. That looks like some really good stuff there. I, I, had, a, I had a great time and yeah. I got some good bargains. I just got all my clothes from Oxfam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. can't we tell? <laughs> <Anyway>. no, no. <laughs> With Christmas now only three weeks away, theatres all over the country are getting ready to put on their pantomimes and Christmas shows. One famous old theatre which has recently reopened is putting on its first pantomime for 33 years. It's the Hackney Empire in the east end of London and it stars somebody who you'll know very well from the programme, Peter Duncan as Aladdin, who's busy doing nothing in Widow Twanky's Laundry. We're busy doing nothing, working the whole day through, trying to find lots of things not to do. We're busy going nowhere, isn't it just a crime? We'd like to be unhappy, but we never do have the time. I have to watch the river to see it doesn't stop. And stick around the road front so they know when to pop. We'll keep the cricket cheerful, we're really a solid bunch. I'm so fast, and only an hour for lunch. We're busy doing nothing, working a whole day through. Trying to find lots of things not to do. We're busy going nowhere, isn't it just a cry? We'd like to be unhappy, but we never do at the time. We're busy going nowhere, isn't it just a crime? Trying to find lots of things not to do. We're busy going nowhere, isn't it just a crime? We'd like to make it snappy. There's another hill to climb. We'd like to be unhappy, but we never do have, we never do have, we never do have the time. Yay, that is great! <laughs> Of course, the Dame's week's not supposed to come off to no, that. No, 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 it just adds to it all. <laughs> Usually Aladdin's played by a girl. How come you're doing it? Well, we decided... <laughs> Stop uh, breath for lad. We decided, partly because we cut wishy-washy out as the comic part, we decided that, uh, really, well, I suppose the truth of it is there wasn't another part I could play, so I had to be Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. What do you enjoy so much about doing pantomimes? Well, you see, the thing about pantos is that they're... It's really the most popular entertainment at all. It's, it's the time when most people in the country go to see a show. And they kind of have a bad time of it lately, pantos, really. And it, I mean, of course, I grew up with panto. My mum and dad used to put pantos on, so I used to be there when I was, you know, from two. And now it's all happening again, so... What about little Lucy? Does she come along at your daughter? Yeah, well, she's three now, walking. Doesn't stop rabbiting all day long. So she, she's actually learnt the song sheet at the end, so she'll, <laughs> she'll probably be in she'll there, be up there. She, Every time I go out, she says, Daddy going on stage, you think. <laughs> That's her favourite line. Not only are you acting in it, but you're directing it as well. Is that quite difficult to do? It's, it's quite difficult if you haven't done the piece before. This is the first time I've done Aladdin. So it's, you never kind of get the acting side together till the show actually comes on. But it's, it's fun directing it because you sort of conceive the whole thing. You decide, you sort of can cast it, you choose the music, you choose all the sort of special effects and all like Adams and Dandridge play ping and pong, they do fire juggling and, and we've got sets taking off and the palace takes. So you, Part of the directing side of it is making up the whole show and having it how you'd like it to be. So that's exciting. What other kind of exciting things do you have in the show? Um, well, we've got, the, we've got um, they do a unicycle act and they've got these high unicycles and they, they juggle with fire. And we have this act where we have to get rid of Abenazo, who's the baddie, and he gets stuck in this big sort of box and his arms get stretched from one side of the stage to the other. So there's things like that. And of course, one of the very traditional things about pantomime is that you have a song that everybody can join in. Do you have one? Does it? Of course I do. <laughs> At the end of the panto, when, when all the story's made up and the hero's won and the, the, sort of the bad is stuck away, we have a thing called a song sheet. And that's when I come forward and go to the audience and say, would you like to join in? And above me now, here it comes, is the song sheet. And this one, this year, is called How Many Lags? How Many Lags? How Many, <laughs> How many Legs Has Daddy Long Legs Got? <laughs> How many legs has Daddy Long Legs got? How many legs has Daddy Long Legs got? I got two, a cow got four, a worm got none, and a shrimp got more. You may know how many beans make five. Don't you know a lot? How many? How many? How many legs has Daddy Long Legs got? 
you all know that, don't you? You're going to join in, come you on, Mark. You're still going to get your words out. I'll point to the words so you can sing. Are you ready? How many legs has Daddy Longlegs got? How many legs has Daddy Longlegs got? with the pantomime to you all. It opens at the Hackney Empire. That's on the 10th of December, so make sure you go along and see it. How many lags has Daddy Long? <laughs> Great. Your chance to sing in a moment or two, and whatever you live. You <laughs> the dog is going absolutely round the bed at the moment. If you're planning to visit a panto, have a great time. We'll be back on Thursday when there'll be some amazing acrobats flying through the air. And I should be showing you how to make a Christmas present anybody would love to receive. So we'll see you then. This is a dolly that is eating dolly. Bye bye. You can all join in home now. Now you've heard it twice. Are you ready? How many legs has Daddy Long Legs got? Poor old Roland Rat. Well, what has Roland Rat done to deserve being chewed by Bonnie there? Huh? <laughs> Terribly unfair. Terrib and Daddy Longlegs, do you know what this, the, the technical name for a Daddy Longlegs is? Actually, actually a crane fly. So how many legs has Daddy Longlegs got? How many legs has a crane fly got? Well, funny you should mention that, talking about legs. I heard a letter from Nicola Boswell, who lives in Droylsden in Manchester, which is my part of the world. And she says, Dear Andy, a couple of questions. One, is the resemblance between you and CD from the satellite show just coincidental? Well, according to the satellite show, yes, it is. Yeah, you believe that, you believe anything. <laughs> and question two, do your producers only fit legs, as in how many legs has a daddy long legs got? Do they only fit legs to you when you have to go on top of the pops? Can they not afford to give you legs all the time? Well, this is absolutely true, Nicola. Yes, I only wear legs uh, on top of the pops. Those are my very, very special secret top of the pops legs. And we don't, normally, we don't normally show the legs at this point, uh, but I there they are. All right. Well, seeing as you've decided to show them then, right, we better show you. Yes, these are the, the official Top of the Pops legs. Um, these are the... <laughs> don't normally wear these, you see, because I stop here now. I don't go any further than this at the moment. Um, and they don't normally seem without the, the seriously distressed jeans. You see, you've got to get your trendy jeans on. Yeah, it's all right for you, Bob. You haven't got any legs at all, have you? Ha, 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 ha. You're just a banana. So, in fact, there they are. Look, there's a little thing on the top there. There's a clip there, you see. And that is the bit that clips me to the legs for programs like Top of the Pops and live OBs like the Lord Mayor's Show and things like that. In fact, this is a wig as well. And uh, these arms are false. Um, in fact, there's no torso under here either. Now, of course, I've got legs, Nicola. Do you want to see them? Hang on. Would you hold those legs, please? Thank you. Now, we've done that joke. Hang on. There they are, look. I and mean, if I stand right up on this chain and see them, there you go. Da -da 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 -da. <coughs> I get paid for doing this. <laughs> it's silly, isn't it? Um, Leonard Davies from Northern Manchester has written to us as well. Thank you very much indeed for this, Leonard. He sent us a picture of a Blue Peter bring and buy sale look. And there's Mark and Karen. That's uh, Mark on the left there, Karen in the middle. Um, and a picture of Willow. And Willow is saying, nobody is selling me. Well, I think, Willow, if, if they were to sell you, Blue Peter wouldn't be quite the same. Quieter, but not quite the same. Uh, and there's Yvette. Look, Yvette has appears to have disappeared behind the desk um, and just got a little sign that says, Help! That's not how you spell Yvette, by the way. We are back tomorrow, 10 to 4, with PC Pinkerton. It's followed by Fireman Sam, Ratman, Simon and the Witch, What's That Noise, News Round at 5 o'clock and at 10 past 5, Grain Chill. So have a very nice night. We will see you live tomorrow at 10 to 4. Ta-ta. Starting tonight, a new series, Super Sense, discovers how animals can sense impending storms, how migrating birds navigate their route, and explores the variety of highly tuned senses of mammals and fish. The shark, perhaps the most feared of all...